Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Trading. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how we can create loop based on uh, simulated things like cloth, maybe like flags, or maybe even like hair simulations. So let's get started. I'll be using a grid, and I guess I'm just gonna keep it simple and make the flag actually square. And let's create a vertex group very, very quickly. This is for our close simulations. So we're gonna assign weight of one there and create close simulations, pin it at those vertices. Let's save this as cloth loop, cloth loop 001. And our simulations by default is only 250 frames. So let's increase that to 500 frames. And let's just simulate. So we have our clothes, but it's a, it's pretty boring simulations. We need to create something like uh, wind, wind force, and perhaps also turbulence. So I think the wind needs to be, we need to increase the strength, maybe add a little bit of noise. That's probably enough. All right, actually, okay, let's increase the turbulence as well. So we have the wind, let's make this stronger. Okay, so we have something that's kind of like a cloth simulations, maybe more like a, maybe you, if you hang a cloth, um, we need a bit of noise, maybe flow as well. Okay, so now kind of better. Maybe I need to kind of rotate the turbulence as well. Okay, make it global. Maybe we need to rotate this to create a motion. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's keep that one. Let's save this and then bake as Alembic. So we're gonna bake uh, the whole 500 frames. Create a new file, file import Alembic. And I think our flag is this one. Okay, that's actually a different one. So close loop, file, export, Alembic. Okay, it's it's called close loop. File, import, Alembic, desktop, close loop. All right. So we have uh, 500 frames simulations. This thing is not currently looping. Um, maybe there's a pattern, but it's not really looping yet. So let's save this as file, oops, sorry. File, save as cloth looping SV. So I, I will be using spread of nodes for this. So, okay. Now we have a single object there. We have an Alembic sequence. Let's re-import another copy of this uh, cloth. So we have two now. This guy is kind of identical, but they are, they are different. And we can actually override the frame. So in this case, we have like 500 frames. Uh, make sure we uh, imagine we kind of half it, 250, and we want to offset it by that half of the total frames. 
so we need 750 frames and basically when it's 250 we want to keyframe here and when it's when it's uh, 500 or when it's 750 we want to keyframe this as 500 so now we have the offset 250 frames offset of the whole thing what's gonna happen is that with with our final mesh that's looping it's gonna be between 250 and 500 uh, what's these objects at 250 is the same as this object at 500 okay so that's uh, might be a little bit confusing but just follow follow me I'll show you so let's uh, go to spare chart and go to objects in get our objects and post modifier let's get this object and then we're gonna be using vector lerp and simply gonna be lerping we, we kind of like blending two objects and create a perfectly loop, looping object okay so so we're gonna basically so between between frame um, 7 okay 750 between 250 and 500 I believe 250 and 500 that's gonna be our looping mesh okay so we just need to I think keyframe the factor here so keyframe zero over there and then at the very end here make a factor to one ideally the this animation should be linear not not like uh, shouldn't have any ease in or whatever so I believe that's all we need so I think this is the original this one the one that's being offset by half of the total frames and then we have the one in the middle that's actually looping perfectly so you can see when it goes to 500 and jumps back to 250 it's actually looping I believe we, we might need to skip one frame to make it even better okay so that's pretty much it we can bake the final version I'm using B mesh so we have a real object here oops shade smooth doesn't work because we need to calculate the normal anyhow file export alembic so this is cloth looping after some processing using spreadshop we get a final version that's actually looping perfectly oh I forgot we need to we need to displace and set it to zero in order for the result to bake so I can actually show you again the whole thing using a different um, animation so import alembic desktop this is the final version should be looping so this guy this guy is looping there is no pop whatsoever this would actually uh, this should work for cloth simulation hair maybe things like grass um, yeah I think I have not tested for real production yet but this is should be working nicely okay let's say we reopen the blend uh, this blend it's gonna delete everything file import 
Alan Big, this is another of like simulations that I bake. Uh, so I can import that. This might be this might be the final uh, the final result. Let's get the this guy right here. So again, 500 frames of flag simulations. We're gonna offset it by half of the total frames. So I create a duplicate and then make sure this is a single user. And let's offset this guy. So keyframe there. Actually at frame 250 should be zero. And at frame 750, this should be 500. Okay. Two mesh with the same simulations and one of them is offset by half of the total frame. So we're gonna get this guy and this guy. Get selection. So we have, we have this mesh. And we just need to alert the value and we get the one in the middle between 250 and 500 should be working okay so this guy is looping perfectly there is no there shouldn't be any kind of pop when you go to the last frame and then it jumps to the first frame maybe we need to skip one frame yeah so it's pretty good so that's actually that's pretty much it this um, using spare chop add-on uh, just a single nodes kind of to blend between uh, two simulations so you can get a perfectly looping uh, simulations all right uh, hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye